Hi there. Today we are going to learn about how to create and manage Logic App workflow by using Visual Studio Code. With the help of Visual Studio Code, we can create or we can manage the Azure Logic App that will help us to automate our task, workflow and process for integration apps. In this video, we will understand how we can create or how we can manage our Logic Apps using Visual Studio Code. As you already know, we can perform these activities like how to create a Logic Apps, we can use Azure Portal or we can use Visual Studio. But still, why we require Visual Studio Code? Because if you are familiar with Visual Studio Code or if you are familiar with the Logic App definitions, you can create your workflows, you can create your, you can automate your task very fast. For example, if you want to disable or if you want to enable or if you want to delete or if you want to edit your logic apps, you can do it quickly in Visual Studio Code. In this video, we will understand how we can perform those activities. Before we start, there are basic required things that we should have. If you don't have Azure account or subscription, you can sign up for free Azure account. Here you can sign up for free Azure account. You can get 200 credits to explore Azure for 30 days. Apart from that, you can get 12 months of popular free services. Also, you will get always free 20, 25 plus services. Other than that, you should have basic understanding of Azure Logic App workflow and their definitions. You should know how their structures are described with JSON. If you are a new to Logic App, I would strongly suggest to watch my other videos where I have explained how to create Logic App, what are the basic parameters you require. Then we have to install Visual Studio Code in our system. So you can use version 1.25.1 or the highest version Visual Studio Code is free and you can download it these tools from Visual Studio Marketplace so let's start so I have already installed Visual Studio Code in my system and now I am going to explain you how we can create Azure Logic App in Visual Studio Code first you have to go and you have to download a couple of extensions so here in extension just click on that and here search Azure Logic App. You will get the first, first extension Azure Logic Apps. Just select that and click on install button. It will not take more than 10 to 20 seconds. Once it's installed, you can see by default automatically your Azure account extension will also install along with this Azure Logic App. After that, once this Azure Logic App extension will install, you can see we have one icon, Azure icon is also available here. That was not available previously. So I'll click on that. You can see here I'm getting option to sign in to Azure or create a free, free Azure account. If you don't have any Azure account, as I said earlier, you should have to create a free Azure account. Otherwise, you can click on this. It will redirect and here you can create your free account. So for me, I already have an account. So I'll close this one and I'll choose the first option, sign into Azure. Once I click on sign into Azure, it will redirect to Azure portal account. It is asking me to choose the Azure account that already I already have this Azure account. So I'll click I'll pick that account and you will see this message you are signed in now you can close the space so now I'm going to close the space and if you can see I already have my subscription available here let me close these extensions what I have it so here if you can see a couple of icons here we have this filter icon there you can choose the your subscription if you have a multiple subscription you can choose it here then here you can create a project next icon where if you click on that you can create a project for that then you have a create logic app if you can see here we have this icon create logic app if you click on that it will ask you to select the subscription 
and based on the subscription you can create the logic apps later in this video i'll show you in in this way how to create the logic app then we have add build definition to project and once you click on that it will it so if you can see it is adding it is creating a build definition for me if i'll go to this resource group and i already have two logic apps created here if i'll expand this logic app i have option to see my runs if i'll expand the run it is showing the history run history with the run id and also if you can see here in action it is giving all the details like what are the response i have received what are the action was present and what is the response i have received if you want to see the run run details you just have to click on this i icon and it will open the it will open the run history so if you can see here i have a simple logic app where i'm just passing my input and i'm getting my response as a 200 output okay very simple logic app okay so then what i'll do i'll close this one and then i have a next option triggers in triggers you can see the request okay if i'll click on that request it is opening the in editor mode then we have a version information also so suppose this is my current version if i want to promote my old version suppose this version have some issue and if i want to promote my old version so what how i can do that i just simply right click on that and it will give me option to promote okay so you can promote your previous version of previous version of logic app but for the current version you cannot see the promote option for the old version only you can see the promote options you can see if any version you can open you can see the promote option so this was the version history okay so these details you can see apart from that if you can see if 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 you can just right click on the logic app you will have multiple options you can open in editor mode you can open in a designer mode you can open in a portal you can enable or disable from here itself you can delete it or you can add in this project you can add this logic app in project or you can refresh it okay that's why i was saying it is very fast comparison to creating a logic app on portal or visual studio let's open this in designer mode so i have opened my logic app in designer mode if you can see here this is the same how you create the logic apps in portal it will give you this similar type of ui so here i can just view or i can see what are the adapt what are the uh, connectors we are using if i'll open this one in editor it will open in a editor view so this is the json format so in json format if you are familiar with the uh, logic app definition you can edit it based on your requirement if i'll click and if i'll open in in a portal it will open in a portal so it's loading <coughs> a logic app is open in a portal now i want to create one logic app okay so let's go and create logic app so there are two ways to create a logic app in visual studio code either we can choose this option where it is this icon is available create logic app or we can just right click on this and we can it is giving option to create a logic app so let let's choose this option create a logic app it is asking to choose the resource group if you don't have resource group or if you want to create a new resource group you can just go here and click the resource group i am going to use the existing resource group my resource group is present in east us reason so i'll choose this one and my logic app also i'll create in the east us reason itself now it is asking now it is asking me to create 
enter the name of logic app so before that let me just close these like these uh, pages so yeah now it's clear enter the name of the new logic app okay so i'll create here I'm giving a name first logic app visual studio code press enter you can see my logic app is creating now it will not take much time that's it so if you can see here my logic app designer my logic app editor view is open so in editor view if you can see right now as do, I don't have anything I just it's just a schema definition and uh, version uh, content version and Apart from that, other definitions are blank. Okay, so now I want to edit it. How I can edit it? If you are familiar with Visual Studio, if you are familiar with the definition, you can edit it. Otherwise, for this demo purpose, I am going to copy the data from Logic App 1. I copied entire thing and I replaced here. All right, and now just save it. If you can see here, this pop up is opened. Save first LA Visual Studio code will update the logic app definition in your subscription. It is asking me up upload, always upload, and don't upload. So, I'll for now, I'll just choose upload. Once I'll select the upload, if you can see in the output, it is saying opening, updating and updated. You will see this message. That means my logic app is updated. Now I'll go and open this logic app in a designer view. Okay. So now if you can see here, let's in the middle panel, my logic app is opened in editor view and in the right panel my logic app is opened in designer view okay it's a very simple logic app we are just we are just hitting we are just uh, getting a HTTP request and we will uh, send them the response back so in this way we can create our logic app now if you want to stop if you want to disable the logic app I can go and disable it if I want to enable the logic app I can go and do enable it okay if i want to change any definition suppose so if i'll go to the uh, versioning as of now if you can see i have four versions all right and now i'm going to change this status code to uh 202 okay and then i'll save this one upload update it successfully okay now i'll go here and refresh this so now i have another version okay now if i want to promote to the my previous version so my current version if you can see here status code is 20202 and now i want to revert it back to my previous version so i'll go here and i'll click on the promote okay it will give you the pop-up are you sure you want to promote this version if i'll choose yes it will promote to the older version if I choose no, it will keep the latest one, latest one. Okay, so I'll click on yes. It is promoting. So new version is created here. Now I'll click on that. You can see here status code. Status code is reverted back to 200. Perfect. All right. So now if I'll go, uh, if I'll show you. So if you can see here, we don't have any run history because we have not executed this logic app now if I, if I want to disable enable it I am just going to disable this logic app okay so I disabled it this logic app is disabled now to verify let's go to the, and I have okay, so this logic app I have created in Visual Studio code let's open it and if you can see if you can see the status of this logic app is showing disabled Now, if I want to enable it, I'll go again here in Visual Studio Code. I'll just click on Enable, and it's enabled. 
again go back to the portal just refresh it and you can see status is showing enabled perfect so that means we are successfully created our logic app in visual studio code now let's delete this logic app the logic app that i have created i'm just going to delete it delete it it's deleting this logic app we will go on portal and we'll verify if this logic app has been deleted or not okay so from visual studio code if you can see we don't have this logic app available go to the my resource group and i refresh it it will take some time to delete it from here yeah you can see here my logic app has been deleted from portal as well perfect now i have one point here suppose in case you have a multiple subscription and now if you want to change or if you want to go from one subscription to another subscription then how you can do that because here I have only one subscription. If I'll go here, yeah, if you'll have any integration account, it will appear here. As of now, I don't have any integration account in under my subscription. So it is showing blank. Otherwise, it will come here. So now suppose if I want to go from this subscription to another subscription, or from uh, another if I want to open my another uh, account, okay, how I can do that? So to easy step, you just have to click on view and command and just then you have to type it here you just have to type azure underscore sign out or you can type it here azure column sign out or you can just select if you can see here uh, azure sign out will appear here so recently i have used it that's why it is coming in a recently used otherwise you have to choose from this one from the drop down Okay, from this list, drop down list. Okay, a better to you can type as your column sign out. So once you click on that, if you can see here, my account has been signed out from this Visual Studio tool. Okay, and again, if I want to sign in, I'll click on this sign in and it will open to the Azure portal. If I'll choose if I'll have a different account, I'll select it from here. I'll go back and see my subscription is appearing. That's it for this session. If you have any doubt, any question, comment below. I'll try to help as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.